We start with a three foot by eight foot copper sheet. And then depending on the birdhouses that we are making, we cut, pre-cut the uh, pieces. We get our copper um, from Columbia, Pennsylvania, a road sheet metal. It's very important for us in all of our fittings uh, that they're made in America uh, because we don't want them stamped where they say, uh, with all due respect to uh, Korea and Taiwan and, and so on. This is an antique bar folder uh, from 1915 and what we're trying to do is just put uh, a softened edge uh, that will add strength and of course eliminate the sharpness. This is four thirty seconds. I can go up to an inch. Uh, so four times. And now we've got this nice edge that's not sharp and it adds strength to the roof. So here is our roof with the edges and the nice uh, peak. We started out by using uh, misters and, and things for plants, but the metal spring exposed to the copper sulfate and it rusts that you could go broke uh, buying uh, spritzers. Just a simple mist. Now I'm doing this by hand, but we do it at a, a workstation uh, that's dedicated to that. And then the final outcome is this wonderful patina where the blackening agent adds depth and then we get a realistic look by using the spray and you can see it just it looks very natural we cut all the pieces that are going to be assembled on the house you can see this beautiful red white uh, combination from a, a barn in central Pennsylvania we assemble the birdhouses using these wonderful copper these wonderful copper boat nails they're ringed and so you get great purchase into the wood and a nice rose uh, cap on it adds a decorative uh, element this is the finished uh, product uh, without the without the roof we sign and date every house we take our verdigris copper roof and fit it and then it is screwed together. The final uh, project and we're well known, the Erickson birdhouses uh, with our, our birdhouses clad with uh, copper roofs. This is our faithful companion Roscoe, he's a Chesapeake Bay retriever. Uh, he's, he's UPS brown in color and so we may have had a head of shipping. <laughs>